Hey you folks, it's Nate and it's time I got back to the drawing board. Uh, tonight I wanted to talk a little bit about art and um, creativity and one of the purposes of art is pushing boundaries. Um, an artist at, at a very basic level is a person who just uh, pushes boundaries until he finds he can't uh, keep pushing against all the pushback he gets for every action. You know, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And that's true uh, socially as well as in um, the realm of physics. So um, the this idea is, is something I want to talk about uh, in no small part because of what happened with Mike S. Miller this weekend. And um, as you can probably tell by the title, I think Mike did nothing wrong. And um, the reason for that is because, you know, culture is, is a negotiation. It's something we work out between ourselves. And um, artists are always at the forefront of uh, pushing the boundaries of that negotiation, of finding the limits um, of, of our culture and what we'll accept. And that has to be part of their role. Um, artists are in the business of reflecting our culture. And that means you have to understand, you have to find um, what its limits are, uh, where its heart is, where it's going. And um, I am very much of the opinion that um, what Mike did shows very much uh, the, the way artists are supposed to do that. What he did um, was he took a, a piece of art by another artist and he, um, it was, it was a mock-up. It wasn't even a, a complete piece of art. Uh, it was, it was a um, breakdown of a, a cover that was never finished um, and that he bought and uh, chose to use as he saw fit. And um, the way he used it was to ink over it and make a cover for his own comic. And, um, you know, he, he was originally not going to ink over it. And then uh, uh, another artist told him to go ahead and ink over it. Um, so right there, you see the negotiation, uh, the, the working to find the limits at work there. Um, Mike was looking for to put his own spin on things, but uh, um, he wasn't sure how far to go. And so someone gave him a little push to help him get a, get a step further. And so he went a step further. He inked over it. And then he, um, he, he proposed to sign it um, as uh, himself in collaboration with Mike Waringo. And, um, you know, that was patently untrue. Um, he, he did not collaborate with Mike Waringo in any way. He simply took um, Waringo's art as an inspiration for his own. And uh, in response, he got pushed back to that. People said, no, no, don't, don't do that. Um, and so he didn't. Once again, negotiation at work. Um, Mike went to push a little farther, and uh, the pushback exceeded what he was, he was willing to go with. And uh, so he didn't. Um, he took Mike Waringo's uh, signature off of there, and he just said, okay, we'll, uh, we'll do it as my tribute to Mike Waringo's art. And um, then he got a lot of pushback from people who were using uh, Mike Waringo's name uh, against him as a, I, I guess, as a, a shaming tactic to, you know, try and convince him not to do this. And um, that pushback was not something that Mike was going to have. So he, uh, he made a photocopy of it and he burned it. And um, the reaction to that was, frankly, quite amusing. Uh, a, a really good piece of performance art. And again, you see a negotiation there. Um, the, the culture in general uh, came to Mike to negotiate for one thing, and um, Mike rejected the offer quite emphatically, uh, to, to be perfectly honest. Um, and, and, you know, again, in his role as an artist, Mike is looking for the limits and um, when he didn't, couldn't accept the limits, he pushed back hard. And I actually respect that, I think, um, 
more than anything else uh, Mike did um, is his willingness uh, not to um, bow to uh, limits that he found illegitimate. Now, artists can get themselves in a lot of trouble that way, no doubt. Um, unfortunately, for uh, the rest of society, um, getting in trouble is kind of part of the artist's job. Uh, you are looking for um, the shape of the culture. You know, what kind of world do we live in? What kind of things do we accept from the people in the world we live in? And in looking for those limits, um, you are guaranteed 100% of the time. Well, not 100% of the time, but it is 100% guaranteed that at some point um, in every artist's life, they will go overboard. And uh, that's going to be uncomfortable, and it's probably not going to be good for anyone involved. Um, but that's that's just part of the deal. If you want a culture with art in it, you have to accept that that is going to happen. Um, so on the whole, uh, I would prefer to live in a culture where we have artists uh, that are willing to go all the way to the edge, uh, where we have artists that um, really dig into uh, the limits of what we can do um, uh, of, of performance art of, um, you know, you know, of drawing inspiration from other artists of, um, you know, just telling people to shove off and, and, uh, let you do what you set out to do. I would rather live in a world, um, where that is part of creativity, um, than, one where it's not. Uh, and I, I think on the whole, uh, based on, you know, the, the outcome that we got, um, the process of, of, you know, looking for the limits that Mike went through, I'd say that on the whole, he didn't do anything wrong. Um, he, he pushed for something he wanted. Um, and, and when, you know, people negotiated him down. He listened to their concerns. He saw what was valid in them and he accepted them. And then when people tried to twist those concerns to manipulate him and make him give up his idea entirely, he ignored them and he pushed back hard. And I'm okay with that outcome. Um, if you're not, well, tough. Uh, you're, you're not okay with the idea of art. You're not okay with the idea of um, negotiating to evolve our culture. And, you know, I, I have no use um, for th that kind of culture, the kind of culture you want to build. It is better to um, push hard and innovate. Um, and s admittedly, yes, sometimes go overboard than to be stifled in um, a world without that kind of uh, negotiation without that kind of creativity um, at work at all. So yeah, there there you have it. Um, my proposal for why Mike S. Miller did nothing wrong. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, there's a like button and a subscribe button down below. Use them as you see fit, and I'll talk to you later.